New York City Grand Central Station here to preview NYCFC versus CF Montreal this evening at Yankee Stadium. Tales of two teams in different directions. When we're looking at CF Montreal, there are only three straight win sequence. The opposite of the spectrum for NYCFC, three straight losses in Major League Soccer. Montreal has won against Charlotte, Toronto, and New England, two of those on the road. And when we look at NYCFC, it's been a lot more difficult. They've only won, well, they lost three times in the last three games with losses to Philly, Minnesota, and Cincinnati. Yes, good teams, but with only one goal score and seven goals against. It's been really difficult for Nick Cushing and his man over the last few games. And when we're looking at the moves made by NYCFC with Gabby Pereira sent out, it's not gonna be easy to find some attack for NYCFC. Let's have a look at the standings before we go any further here in our preview. When we look at the Eastern Conference, Montreal has found themselves in eighth spot in the East, with yes, five point gap between themselves and the 10th spot, the first outside of the playoffs. When we look at NYCFC, 13 and quite a task to put themselves back up that red line. Will it be possible for an NYCFC to turn things around? Mm, it'll be difficult. Easy for Montreal over the years in New York and especially at Yankee Stadium. When we look at Montreal's record over the years here at Yankee Stadium, one win, four losses and three draws for Montreal. Eight goals for, 17 goals against at Yankee Stadium, the house that Babe Ruth Gulf. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. And often time we talk about the advantage of the field for NYCFC. Let's look at the dimensions of Yankee Stadium because it is very different than most stadiums in this league. And for comparison, we'll look at Stan Saputo's dimensions right after. When we look at the length of the pitch on the lengthwise 100, and 100 meters, which, well, if it's about 300 feet for NYCFC and 64 meters across. By comparison, if we're looking at CF Montreal's field, right now it's 110 meters the lengthwise and 70 meters across so quite the big difference we're talking about just on the length of the pitch about 30 feet different and we're looking at about 18 feet different in the width of the pitch and that makes a big difference in the strategy and the tactics but if we go back to nycfc this year yes two wins on home soil three draws and only one loss but could have been a whole lot better for NYCFC. Over the years, they used to win those games more often than not. And I think that under Nick Cushing, things are, well, sliding a bit out of control. If we're looking at Nick Cushing's result, since, well, becoming manager of NYCFC, we find themselves with below 30% win percentage. We're looking at a record of 16, 22, and 16 all competition for Nick Cushing. And that's not your older brother's NYCFC. That's far away from the winners of the 2021 MLS Cup. Now, will he be back next year? Will this disappointing season really be the last of him in, with, with NYCFC? Will he get another opportunity in the Citizen Football Group? Those are all good questions. But right now, NYCFC is a shadow of what it used to be. And in a city that never sleep, shadows are rarely useful. What will be the last straw to bring the camels back? Could it be a defeat against CF Montreal? Wrap up this preview video live from Grand Central Station. I do see this game unfold in a particular way. Montreal is gonna have to weather the storms early on. Just like they are in Montreal right now, it's a quite a rainy day. I'm in New York City, quite beautiful here today. But when we're looking at Montreal's goals today, well, it's to score a goal, yes, but to score the first one. If they can hold on and keep the score to nil and able to weather the storm, absorb the pressure, there will be some pressure applied by NYCFC. And Montreal's task is to stay in the game and then score the first goal. Montreal is on a streak of 17 straight wins when they score their first goal. Yes, 17 straight wins. And this year, they've only allowed one equalizer goal. That's the best in MLS. Only one team has, equal, has allowed only one equalizer goal. That's Montreal. What that means is if Montreal gets the lead, they're not going to give it back. And if Montreal gets the first goal, then the lead, they're going to win the game. 
players to watch for Montreal, in my opinion, Lapalainen and Mathieu Chouinard. Lapalainen, when he came on against New England, changed everything for Montreal, created a lot of space and able to use that speed and space on the flanks. I believe this could be the key late in the game when space is a premium at Yankee Stadium. And Mathieu Chouinard, the best Quebecer to ever play in MLS, will be a key for Montreal's win. When we're looking at NYCFC, yes, Santi Rodriguez, Matias Pellegrini might be the two sparks for New York's offense. Hey, hope you enjoyed this preview video. If you did, please like the subscribe button, share with your friends on social media. And as always, until next time, have a great soccer.